What's up? Hey guys, it's Yvonne. In this video, I want to show you how to create an affiliate link straight to the ClickBank order form page if you want to bypass the vendor sales page. There are two important things I'd like to mention before I show you how to do that. One is watch the video in full because not only do we have to create the link, we also have to add code to our landing page or whatever page you're using to send people to that order form. The second thing is sometimes vendors don't put an affiliate link to their order form in the affiliate resources page, such as this page here, affiliate page. That's because sometimes they want users to go through their sales page because they have some information there that they want the users to see or whatever. So it is your responsibility to message the vendor or the affiliate manager and ask if you can send traffic directly to the order form page. Okay. With that being said, um, let's get started. You will need a redirect path tool. If you're using Chrome, it's called redirect path. If you're using Firefox, it's called something like link redirect trace. Just look it up for whatever browser you're using, some type of redirect path. Uh, and we'll need a basic notepad, which I have here, okay? So let me just close this one so we can open a new one from scratch. Uh, so I'm using this um, article here, how to send visitors directly to the ClickBank page. I'll send that in, in the description if you want to uh, check it out as well. But the first thing we're going to do is just copy that link here. I'm going to copy it and paste it into the notepad right there. So there are three things we need, as you can see. We need the item number, we need the affiliate ID, and we need the vendor ID. The affiliate ID is simple. It's the ClickBank ID that you use to sign in, in my case, Ambition with two Ns. The item ID and the vendor ID we still need to figure out, and that is what we'll be using the redirect path tool for. So let's go to ClickBank. Here I am in my marketplace. Let's select a product. I'll go with the very first product I see here, Flat Belly Fix to outline the process for you. So I'm going to open link in a new tab. And uh, if, you, if, if you notice there, let me just pause that, it um, had the affiliate hop link there for a second as it redirected. Namely, if I'm using my redirect tool, it went through this first before landing on this page, flat belly fix. And this is the vendor ID we're looking for. So this would be our affiliate ID. And that would be our vendor ID, okay? But in this case, we're not sending people to the vendor page. We're sending people to the order form page. So all we're going to do is we're going to copy this FB fix, and we're going to open our notepad, and we're going to replace this vendor with that FB fix, okay? Last thing we need now is the item number. And the way we find that out is by going to the order form page of this product. So for this specific product, I'm just going to click on here, prefer to read, and you would look for the product. So sometimes the, uh, the, the vendor would have multiple products. In that case, select the one or ones that you want. And let me show you how to get the ID. And then you would, if there are several products, you would go through the same process to find the ID for all those different products. So in this case, let's suppose it's this one. So let's suppose if there's multiple products, this is the one I want. I'm going to click on that. And this is that uh, link, that URL for the order form page. What I'm looking for here is the item number. So scan through this and then boom, you see item equals 31. That's what we need. So for this specific page, we need item 31. So that number is 31. So we can go in and change that to 31. If there's multiple products, just go through the same process, click on all those different links until you find all the numbers that you need. So maybe it's 31, 39, and 43, okay? And you would add them here. Uh, sometimes the product will not say item equals. Sometimes it will say something like CB items equals, and that is that item number. So keep in mind, it won't always just say item. It will depend. So as long as it has the word item in there, that's what you're looking for. Now we have this, we have our completed link. So let's go ahead and test it out and see what that looks like as I enter it here. So I'm gonna enter it there. And as you can see here, I'm taken to the same page. Now it's not as pretty. It doesn't have this you know, stuff at the end, but this is kind of this generic ClickBank page that applies to every single product. And if I put a different number here, 
Either it will take me to a different product, it will say the product is no longer available, or it will just say doesn't work, product never existed, okay? So for example, if I type M1, I'm taken to this different offer. It looks like it's the same thing, uh, but something is different about it. So maybe it has different uh, options here. But for example, if I type in something like 314, it says this product is inactive and no longer for sale. Okay, so just to give you an idea of what this looks like. So with that being said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that link that I generated. Okay, I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to paste it now into my landing page button, right? And by the way, if I click on this link and I scroll down to the bottom, as you can see, it will have your affiliate ID there, okay? So that's pretty cool. That's what you need. Uh, and I'm going to add this to my button. So in this case, I have all that. I'm going to say on submit, go to, and I'll add it right there, okay? So now when someone signs up, they'll be taken to that page. Now, you do need to add code to your landing page. And the reason for that is if there is another affiliate that already showed them the vendor sales page or they had a sales page with their cookie in there, if they go straight to the checkout page, that other affiliate will get the sale. So what you have to do is make the cookie belong to you rather than that other affiliate. And the way you do that is with this code here. So you can either use this iframe code or this image pixel code like you do with click magic. Either way works. So whichever you decide to do, you would put it in the same spot. So they recommend using the iframe because of visitors that don't have a, um, that, that uh, turned off kind of these images um, that have images disabled. Uh, for security reasons or whatever. So you can go ahead and copy this, take that, and now we have to add it on our page. This is on our landing page. I'm going to go into settings, click on tracking code. I would put this code, you know, pixel code in the body section. So that would be over here. So I already have a code here, but I'm just going to click enter and add in this other one. I'm going to paste. And here's the code. Now you have to replace these. So again, affiliate ID, that's ambition. And vendor ID we said was, let's refer back to our notepad, FB fix. Okay. So make sure you add this in so that you get credit for the sale. And that's pretty much it. Now that we've done that, we've saved it. Um, if people go on this landing page and then they go on to that order form page, which you added here in general, you will still get credit for the sale even though you're sending people straight to the order form page. So if I go ahead and take that link and I paste it here, and I put in a bogus email asdftest1 at gmail.com. And I scroll down to the bottom, as you can see, my affiliate ID shows up and I'm taken straight to the order form page. So that is it. That is how you set this up and take people straight to the order form page. But remember, you have to ask your vendor to see if they're okay with it. It's their product. If they don't want you to do something, don't do it or it's not going to end up well for you. But that's it and that's how you do it. If you guys have any other questions at all, feel free to let me know down below. I try to be as responsive as I can. If you enjoyed the video, you found it useful, leave it a thumbs up and subscribe. I cover a lot of different online marketing tools, tips, tricks, reviews, etc., etc. You name it. Thank you so much again for watching. I will see you in the next video.